So what got you into boxing? You were a fan, I, I presume? You were a fan before? Yeah, of course. Growing up, yeah. I was a fan. Um, obviously, my NFL days, I would use it for like extra cardio. So like in all right. season, like I obviously hit the field, but then I go box. Get extra cardio. After about two, three years, I literally fell in love with it. Like I started feeling like I got real good at it. I started yeah. like sparring and like, um, you know, saying doing other activities with the boxing and shit. Mm -hmm. And then I just felt good. Like it felt like it felt more for me. You know what I'm saying? So um, I made the, you know, what I'm saying, made my mind up. You know, around uh, I guess early, uh, early, well, really the end of 2021. Last year. Yeah. Right. Um, where I'm like, okay. I'm not gonna do football, you know what I'm saying? Cause I gotta focus all, I gotta be locked all the way in on boxing if I'm gonna do this because yeah. it's not something you can play around with. You're sure. trying to be sure. the best at it. And I'm not about to do something if I ain't trying to be the best at it, to be honest. You know, I'm not doing it to be a hobby. A hobby. I'm not just doing it to try to get money or any type of fame. I'm doing this because for me, it's more myself. It's how I take, see how far I can go. Right. You know, um, I feel like in the NFL thing, it was great. I had a great time in the NFL. Um, yeah. I won't take back none of it, you know what I'm saying? I had to yep. enjoy my time, but I feel like it prepared me for this moment. You know yep. what I'm saying? Like everything I went through for the NFL, all the workouts and dealing with the business and being interacting with teammates and coaches and all yeah. that type of stuff, it made me prepare for this moment to where like, okay, how far can you go, Lady? You know, like how far can you actually take this? And uh how how like how great can you be at this? And Everybody kind of think I'm just talking about it and I'm just, you know, saying this and that and the other, but they don't know the hard work and all the sacrifices and the things that I made to get to this point here. And that's why October 29th, I thought it was going to be a great opportunity for this, for me to show people what I've been doing. You had a, a great NFL career, all pro, several pro bowls. Yes. Um, you could be in the NFL right now, probably making a good amount of money. Yes. A little bit of a risk to go into this. That you must really believe in yourself. You must be very confident. Yeah, I mean, uh, obviously, you know, going into the ring is a risk at all, you know. That's true. Um, on all levels, you know what I'm saying? Like you're just beginning or you're 10, 15 years in it, you know what I'm saying? Those guys, obviously they, guys are better than others, but it's always a risk when you step into that ring. And I understand that. So I want to perfect my craft. So when I get in that ring, I'm comfortable, most importantly. My family comes watching me, my kids, my girlfriend, whoever's watching me and supporting me, they're comfortable you knowing like, Lady on Bell, he don't work so hard. He's prepared. Right. I know he's going to come out on top. Did you have a moment, you said it was last year, that you, you felt like you wanted to make that transition? Was there like one moment that you said, yeah, I'm gonna do this, like were you in the gym or were you watching something? I, it's hard to say one moment, but yeah. I think uh, it, it started kind of creeping in my head, I guess like in 2020, where I'm like in the midst of kind of training, and I'm thinking like, you know, I had conversations in the locker room with people yeah. like, hey, like, would you box after, uh, after right. the NFL career, it was always kind of like, I mean, maybe, or maybe, you know what I'm saying? But this mm -hmm. is the course of me still training, me still training. Sure. And um, after a while, I got to the point where like, yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm done. You know what I'm saying? As a matter of fact, I don't even want to do this no more. I don't even want to play football no more because wow. I want to do this because I feel like I'm so good at this. And the only thing that can kind of stop me from this, because in football, you got a lot of things you got to depend on. You know, you got to depend yeah. on the coaches, you know, yeah. getting you the ball. You have to go on alignment, doing their assignment, the block for you. Your receivers, mm -hmm. you know, digging out the safety, you know, boxing is just yeah. you. And in the ring, it's just yeah. all about you. What you put in that ring and in preparation when you get in that ring, the coaches can't tell you. If you ain't had your hand up the whole fight camp, don't, he can't tell you in the corner, oh, keep your right hand up. Yeah. No, like, you ain't been doing it the whole camp. He ain't gonna just change it in the fight. You know what I'm saying? So that's like something that you prepare for and how far can you go? And I think this can be a perfect opportunity to kind of show people like how different I am with an athlete because I don't think people will really understand. People in your life, were they supportive or were they like, you know, bro, you could be still making a lot of money in the NFL right now. Yeah, I think the, the people close to me, um, obviously supporting me, like my mom and you know my brothers. Yeah, like, and boxing's dangerous too. Yeah, because yeah, they 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 understand me. They understand me. Um, yeah. More so, other friends like close friends or stuff. Maybe they don't understand totally. Yeah. But it's not for them. You know what I'm saying? I don't respect everybody to really understand. You know what I'm saying? People don't really understand stuff until they see it. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Like, yep. Like, it's hard to, I guess, describe air. Oxygen, you know what I'm saying? Because people don't see it, but you know what I'm saying? Obviously, they know it's a thing, but it's just hard to, you know what I'm saying, describe something or when, when you, until you see it, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So when they see me in the ring, you know what I'm saying? They'll see everything that I've been saying. It makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Right now, everybody's right. like, oh, he's just talking, you know what I'm saying? He's just doing this. Right? And plus, not a lot of NFL players, especially people who are as good as you, they have not made that transition correct, to boxing. Correct, and so you're, a, you're a two sport, you know, star now. So, correct. Yeah. So everybody think the, yeah. Everybody think the, the what's the word I'm looking for? Um, like the reason I'm doing this is because I guess I, people are like, oh, he was lost his NFL money. No, no, no. 
the NFL money is fine. I don't even touch it. It's not about the money. Right. Like, I'm, right. Like that's that's so far. It's, it's more about like me showing even people in the NFL. They're like, y'all, oh, everybody thought I lost juice and whatever. Like, right. Y'all gonna see? Like, y'all gonna see? Cause right now I'm 30 years old and this is the best I ever felt. Like, I, I came in the league at 20 years old, 21 years old. Mm -hmm. I feel better now. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's not just me saying it. It's just in my diet. It's the way I've been working. It's my mindset. It's that hunger that I got because I haven't had this, you know, since I guess I was going to the NFL. You know what I'm saying? I haven't had this type of hunger to try to show people and prove them wrong. And now, you know, that time is here. You know what I'm saying? I got about, what, eight days, nine days, or something yeah. like that. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm eager. Obviously, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to peak too early, but um, when the fight comes, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be, it's going to be, I'm expecting a great fight. You know what I'm saying? You're right, Hall, I was wearing this A game. Um, you know, and I'm expecting. You know, a great fight, but obviously at the end of the day, it's time for me to show people what I'm about. It sounds to me like you're not like you're trying. You have bigger goals than just being on like a car with like a YouTuber oh, and hey. celebrities. Like you want to be just, fighting real guys. Yeah, yeah. This is just trying to get jump start me. Like a lot of guys, and I think I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of blessed to be in this position. And I already had a name, so people kind of put me on cards so sure. because of my name, right? Um, which is a blessing. At the same time, I could burn that if I wasn't going out there and trying to show people. I'm trying to do this for real. You right, know what I'm saying? Right. Other people, boxers who may not have, you know, a biggest name as me, who've been working their they whole life to try to get to that point, probably can't because they don't have that name. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I don't want to disrespect those boxers. When I, mean, I do have the opportunities, like, I'm going to show people, like, this is where I belong. Like, I belong here. So like, they're not about to be saying, like, all oh, he's doing it because, you know, he's laying on bail. No, I'm doing this because I feel like I belong in this atmosphere. I belong in this platform because. That's how good of a, of a boss I am. That's how elite skills I have in the ring. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to show it. A couple last things, man, and thank you again for taking the time. Um, you called out Jake Paul last December. You, you think you tweeted calling him out. Yeah. You think if you win this fight, he wins, that's the next fight, you and him? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if that can be the next fight. Obviously, that's going to be a fight that, you know, people going to eventually want to see. But, you know, look, Logan Pauls and KSI's, all those guys, up, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I feel like, you know, if the Jake Paul fight don't happen or whatever, I don't really know what happened with his fight with Silver. I don't know. If he ended up losing the Silver, right. I don't really want to fight him. Because, like, at the point, I want to fight people who's not who right. lost. Like, I want to take everybody out who ain't lost, you know what I'm saying? So, um, and if the fights make sense, you know what I'm saying, they, they all for me, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I, obviously I'm gonna keep growing, so I'm fighting with a new guy. The next guy I wanna fight is either like, you know, a guy with a boxing skill, and it's right. gonna help either make sense for both of us, or it's gonna be a elite boxer, you know what I'm saying? A boxer to where I feel like, okay, I can I can show, box this guy, show people that I'm on this level. You know what I'm saying? That's mm -hmm. what I'm trying to do, that's what I'm trying to take. I'm not well, just doing this just to uh, cut the check and like, Get little mm -hmm. Instagram followers, like you know, right. I'm trying to do this to show people like I'm like one of the best athletes to walk around. This world. What was it like knocking out Adrian Peterson? That was like one of the best feelings in the world, just because for a simple fact, like I, I've been working so hard, and when you first get in the ring, you don't really know. You don't really know until like obviously it happens. So like, I know yep. I've been working hard. I've been sparring and doing this and the other, and, and I know I've been hitting guys and guys have been hitting me. But when it's different when you actually get in the ring, and then you connect the punch, mm -hmm. and then a guy actually he knocks out and. Don't make the count for the first time. You feeling that? That takes the cake of anything. Like I, yeah. I never felt no feeling like that because it's like, dang, what our hard work I actually did like, paid off. Like, and it didn't feel like it didn't feel like it was hard. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like, don't get me wrong, all the hard work I feel like I did up until the fight. And when I got to the fight, I just felt comfortable. I felt like I was just in my zone, and you know, it kind of happened. Everything just kind of happened. It came, it came to flow. So, um, I want the same thing to happen for this fight. Obviously, I'm gonna keep working, 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 getting better. And when this fight comes, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna box my ass off and show people my skill. How familiar are you with Uriah Hall? Did you watch um, him in the UFC at yeah, all? Yeah, I, uh, I watched a couple of fights. It wasn't like a he was a guy that I like watched when he came on every time. But mm -hmm. uh, I seen the silver fight when he had fought silver. That yeah. was like one of the big fights. Um, he's a, he's a dangerous guy. You yeah, know, this is, is not an easy fight by yeah. any stretch. This yeah. is a hard fight for you. Hell yeah, I, I know. Like uh, that's why I said I respect my opponent, and, and that's why I feel like it's gonna be a good opportunity to kind of show people like. I am taking the series because look who I'm fighting. Yeah. Like look who I'm, look who I'm A lot fighting. of people are surprised that you were fighting someone at that level of MMA. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So I'm like, like yeah. look who I'm fighting. Like this is the guy. Like I'm fighting because I know he got respect in that world, in that, in that fighting world. Um, boxing obviously different to him a little bit, but at the same time, he's still a, a fighter. Like yeah. he done did this. So I feel like this is a step for people to understand like how seriously I am taking it. And then not only that, but I went out there and I beat him and demonstrate demonstrate my skill and, and show people exactly like what type of boxer I am, that's gonna even take it to the next level. Last thing, is there is there one boxer, one opponent, that's like a dream opponent, someone that you're kind of gunning for that you want in the future? I know it's early, but I'm sure there are guys out there you've thought yeah, about. Yeah, it's real early. I mean, uh, like as a, as a real fight, as like a real fight? As a real fight, yeah, boxer, yeah. 
Mm. I mean, whoever, at some point, whoever holding that belt at that cruiserweight division. So, like, you know, I don't know. I ain't no specific name. But yeah. I think about three three years or two years or however long it takes you trying to get to that range, whoever is at that point. Right. That's what I'm trying to go for because that's, that's what I'm trying to go. If I'm not trying to, at 195, wherever my weight is, that's what I'm trying to fight. Right now, I'm fighting 195. But wherever my weight is or around that time, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get that belt. Whatever that belt is, whether it's a heavyweight belt, light heavyweight, cruiserweight, somewhere around that, somewhere around that area. So what's the headline October twenty uh, October thirtieth the, the 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 morning after? What are people saying about Le'Veon Bell versus Uriah Hall? Damn, Le'Veon Bell really surprised us. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.